What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today, and what I have for you guys is some Muriel in the off lane. I posted a video on this like two weeks ago, and I wanted to try it again. You know, was it a fluke? I don't know. And I, it wasn't. I think this is something that's especially into tanks, into like Severog, even Steel. I think this is even good into Grux. Uh, she just bullies these kinds of characters. Any character that she can space uh, is bullied by Muriel. So Grux doesn't have good gap closer, right? Crunch does, Serith does, those kinds of characters that can get on top of you you're not going to be very good against, but these characters that struggle to close the distance, I actually think she might be a real solo laner against. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe, but we'll jump right into it. Bro, every time I see uh, a tweet from Crashy about how bad Pred is, I also see him playing Pred that day. Bet you this guy's having a blast right now. He took his E at level one. Oh, what a what a guy. What a what a what a gamer. Who takes Sev E at level one, dude? What? <laughs> look, at, look at this fucking minion wave. <laughs> I have, I have 19 bajillion minions stacked up right here. Oh, Countess invaded. So I'm safe over here. I maybe should have taken my right click at level 2. Nice, they got a kill off of that invade. They chased the uh, Countess down and ended up killing the mid laner. I mean, that Q kind of hits hard, dude. I'm not going to lie. Like, that's good damage on that Q. I mean, this guy just doesn't get to play right now. I'm going to push this because I want to be able to follow my Chimera if he fights. I would probably normally hold that wave even, but I want to be here if he has to fight like this. I can't hit an auto. I missed that's really bad that's really bad if i hit that q i think i actually kill her but i missed i think honestly the power is probably worth it here over the cdr my kai chased the sev and i we just needed to be on the same target oh does he kill the countess i don't think he does i think he's gonna die He did indeed die. I feel like Oathkeeper wouldn't be bad second. I'll probably go Oathkeeper. It's either... Well, I'll probably go Prophecy Time Warp. And then I pr I'll probably go Oathkeeper third. Ouch. Minion's kind of hurt, dude. Support. Mage support base stats. Not very good. Uh, not quite it. I think I just have to let this come into my tower. I can't eat a million damage from minions right now. Rip. I missed all the melees. I'm still way up on the Severog, so I'm not super worried here, but...
I'm taking I'm taking so many minions that this is actually kind of like I'm taking a lot of damage here. He held his flash. I'm guessing he has flash. Maybe he flashed away from my chimera, but I'm guessing he has it and he held it. Oh, I have ult though. I missed a lot of autos too. Honestly, maybe if I hit those autos, he flashes away, you know? So maybe missing those autos actually picks me up that kill. Like unironically. Like, was I trying to hit the autos? Obviously, yes. But legit, maybe if I hit those autos, he flashes. And missing those autos makes him hold his flash. Uh, like, I don't know. That actually might have picked me up. Being being terrible at hitting autos actually might have picked me up a kill there. You have magic defense? No, he's finishing his fucking brimstone. What a gamer. Not a smart gamer, but what a gamer. Misclick. Alright, their Countess is huge, but no one else is playing the game on their team, so. Getting ganks. Well, that's my. Okay. That's my one ult out for the next two minutes, and I got to play safe. She passed all the way around our blue jungle. That was really awkward. Like, that was just a weird pathing from her. Prophecy, magnify. I don't think I go magnify on this build. Prophecy gives me attack speed based on ability haste. I think I just stack ability haste. I don't think I, I don't, I legitimately, I don't think I need magnify. I think I just go prophecy and then I go 18 bajillion fucking ability haste and I'm and I'm good to go. I think that like I legitimately think that's better than I don't think magnify is very good on this character. I mean, I'm way ahead in CS. I don't mind trading trading minions for damage on him right now. I think I go time warp next. I think I need the mana regen. I think I need the mana regen. I definitely think it's a it's a time warp second angle. Oh, he flashed into the wall. Okay. That was a big... I got the shutdown on the Countess. That's really big for me. Oh, that was a good Decker ult, actually. I'm dead. That was a good Decker ult, actually. Really unfortunate for me. All good. We scale. We scale. Decker's over here, so hopefully... I mean, their carry shouldn't be able to be farming half the CS of my Twin Blast. Yeah. Killed it. Kill him. Kill him. TB, hit him. It supports in fucking solo lane. Yeah. Okay. He didn't die, but again, like that's what should be happening. If there's supports in solo lane, then that guy should get be getting run down. That like that Murdoch should not be able to farm. He's level five. Enemy towers destroyed.
could have ulted again. I think I was out of mana, wasn't I? Did I have enough mana for it before I used, uh, like, a Q? Maybe I did. Well, I need the mana regen. Um, I'm gonna push up here, because if their jungler ganks me, I can ult out. And, uh, my team's doing fang, so if their jungler ganks me, we get fang for free. Oh, that hit me? Yeah, Chief, I don't think you win. NT, NT, but you don't win. It's too late for me to ult in. I should have ulted in. I don't know why I tried not to. I should have just ulted in. I didn't realize they were going to lose that somehow. I thought that that should have just been... I don't know. I guess maybe the Countess is just big enough to not care. I feel like we should have just been winning that fight. That's what kind of why I didn't think to look over. Ally tower under attack. See, soul pred suggestions? What do you mean? Uh, like balance suggestions? Yeah, I saw that that page from Soul. I think some of his suggestions are super troll, and I think some of them are very good. Like, I should just be ganking that guy. I'll just take a base. We know Countess is over here. Like, I should have just been running down that Murdoch right there. He, I don't know why he didn't. Give me a Typhoon. Mobility online. Mobility, mana regen. Oh, we're so cooking, dude. It's, it's so hot. Why are you playing support in solo? New meta? I mean, it's just a really, really annoying pick. To pick in solo lane. I think it's just fun. Not have No, he's, he's building double physical defense against me. Like, I know I'm auto-attacking, but all my damage is magical still. All the damage that I'm doing is still magic damage. I'm gonna ping ult ready. I'm watching. Rotate for a couple assists. I will take that. My ult for two for a kill and for a, what was that? One kill, one assist. I don't think I got two assists. That is good enough for me. Even if he gets my tower here, I don't care. What's good? How's it going, Sith? What up, dude? It, like, even my tower going down there is fine. Like, I'm, atta I'm an attack speed build, so I can take his tower really easily whenever I want. Like, if I get one wave into his tower, it's gone, right? So, that shouldn't be too hard for me to even out. And I got a lot of gold off of that. Yeah, I just need... I'm going to get my time warp online. I'm going to probably go Oath Keeper right after that. I wonder if I should level my right click second. Like, realistically, I probably do level my right click second. Uh, 
I'll have my time warp finished. I'll just take a base. I know the Countess is here. No reason for me to get greedy. I have my ult for them. I'm going to save it. I don't need to use it on Kai unless he gets uh, sev ulted. God, actually shit on, by the way. I do a fuck ton of damage right now. My Kai is obviously balling right there. I mean, he just, he has Tainted Scepter, so they're just taking so much bonus damage from both of us, but I don't think this guy can defend this tower. I mean, we could go Prime. If he goes and starts Prime, we can pull that. I do a lot of damage to it. He probably should have just pulled it, honestly. How's it going, Jamie? What up, dude? Long time no see. Rashi the Countess? Yes, he is. He he might be bitching about how his solo laner is losing to a Muriel, but that's probably because he hasn't played against Muriel solo. If he's complaining about it, it's just because he hasn't played against it. That's the second shutdown on the Countess that I've gotten, though, which is really good for me. My ult is on a 90-second cooldown. Global Muriel ult, 90-second cooldown. Kind of nuts. I think we should pull this prime, dude. I don't. I, I wish my jungler would would pull this with me. He should have pulled it right after we killed the countess. I just push tower and then come help him, and we get it for free. I actually don't give a shit about your razorback. I do not care about your Razorback. I'm gonna say, they're, like, they're both full health, and I think they both kill the people they're hitting, so I don't think I need to ult in. Nice. Good shit, team. Well done. What I like to see. I'll just go mid. Hate that people don't understand about mini prime i mean he he got a two camp off of it i think he i he he called it and then he said cancel that so he was obviously thinking about it i think maybe he thought we just couldn't pull it because i'm muriel but i mean i'm damaged muriel like i i do i can kill objectives like auto attack muriel does do objectives so i don't know i think he was just scared that we wouldn't be able to get it because he called it and then said cancel that. Or someone called it and he said cancel that. I don't know if he was the one that pinged it. But. It's on the green buff. My decker should have just stayed on fog wall. Like this guy, this guy will step up and try and fight me if she just sits on fog wall. Now he's, he's, got, he's got magic defense now so. We just we don't need to fight that guy. I'm just gonna ping retreat. It takes way too long to kill him. It's just not worth it to, to walk at him. Could we kill him? I think so. It just takes so long that I don't think it's worth it. His raids are back. Oh shit, there's a bell here? I thought she was gone. <laughs> oh shit, my, my decker, my, my gadget barely lived. I think my decker might be dead. I'm just gonna try and pull this. Oh no way, my Q hit the wall. Oh, that was a good bell stun.
Oh, that was actually a good bell ult to just get it off before she died. I'm um, oom. Um. Oh, I got caught on a wall. I can save them. All right, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, man. Sky Splitter or Stormbreaker go with well with this Muriel build? Uh, Sky Splitter may be Stormbreaker, not really. In my opinion, at least. That's how I would rate those items. I think I'm just gonna go Caustica. I don't know. Do I need a Caustica? Like, I really just want more ability haste. I'm, I'm, I think I'm just gonna go Mega Cosm, honestly. <laughs> Power haste? I mean, I don't know, man. That seems kind of good. Those are the two things I need in this build. They're power and ability haste. So, maybe I'll just go mega. It'll help me do any damage to the sev. It's not going to be a lot of damage, but it'll be some. I mean, he just used his root, though. There's no way he gets this green buff. I kind of want some Omni Vamp. I kind of want a little bit of healing. But I don't know what I would go. Utilator last, actually? Maybe. Thoughts? Because I think I'm going to go Mega Fourth, but I could go Mutilator last. That actually legitimately doesn't sound super troll. Oh, orange buff? Oh my god. Enemy tower under siege. I'm not super scared. Like, that's the thing. Like, I, as long as my ult is up, it's actually, like, kind of hard for them to kill me. They have a decent amount of CC that stops my ult, even. Damn. I should have insta-ulted, but I kind of wanted to fight. I got my Typhoon, and I couldn't use it. They CC'd me before I could use my Typhoon. I got it stacked, but couldn't get it off. And that's the downside, is that I am very squishy. Like, my positioning has to be really good. Tainted Scepter for pen. Tainted, Tainted Scepter doesn't have pen on it anymore. It has haste on it now. Which, it would be good. It would be solid in this build. I don't think I really need it, but it would be okay. She doesn't kill this guy. I don't know why she's trying. She does. She cannot kill this Ev. I can kill this Ev. My, my gadget? Uh, not gonna happen. I wonder if I ever go Azure Core on this build. If I ever stack in uh, an Alchemical Rod. I feel like no. I feel like if I was gonna do that, I would go Orb. Orb Prophecy. If I really wanted to stack. But... I don't think that's necessary. I'm just going to ping ult ready. Like, I can ult into Fangtooth if they need me. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of keep pushing. Because I'm really annoying. This is just like playing Chernabog ADC and Smite. Okay. I don't really... I didn't really want to ult before Fangtooth came up. going in. Nice. That Kai jump was wild, by the way. How that how that Kai jump hit that guy is insane. I have no idea how. It'd be a free thing for us. That Kai jump went up around the corner to hit that uh that that Decker.
really oh shit okay now i'm kind of scared i was gonna say i'm not really scared of the sev but the bellica being here is the only person i'm scared of No way, dude. My Q hit a wall again. My Q hit the wall again. Bro, I'm kind of bad. What the shit? I was not expecting her to be there. I kinda, I'm kind of surprised she got there off of her respawn fast enough. Why is my Decker pushing left? What? I don't know why she's over here. That was a lazy back, but. Enemy tower under attack. Enemy Kai can do anything in this game. Oh, my Kai can do whatever he wants. Yeah. I mean, he's tainted Blade Crystalline into a 4 AP comp. Like, he is he is the only person he has to be any scared of is Murdoch, and Murdoch is not built to kill a Kai with fucking 4,000 HP. Like, he has no Sky Splitter. He's going more crit next. I mean, my, my, my Kai will kind of be fine against that guy. Hopefully, my Kai does need to go. I think he needs to go physical defense. Hopefully, this is like a Draconum or a Citadel. But, uh... He doesn't have to really be scared of the, the Murdoch right now in their 4 AP, so he can kind of do what he wants. I think I'm going to go Mutilator last. Just because we ball, I guess. Who just dashed in? A flash for dominance. That's fine. Probably not worth it, honestly. But. Yeah, I think we just pulled this. Not, like, definitely not worth my flash, but. Just finish this, honestly. Me and TV shred this thing. The NTB sure read that thing, dude. Oh my god, insta dead. One stun hits and that Countess does just insta dies. Oh, I'm not basing. Rip. <laughs> my back is just not going off. Me standing here like an idiot, not channeling my base. I still have ult ready. If they if they push and get into something shaky, I got my ult. Which ability haste do I have? I have 85 haste. My ult is on a 55 second cooldown. An enemy inhibitor is under siege. You don't win this, Sev. I wouldn't try. Kai under the inhib right now? Dude, my Kai is just a fucking animal. It's like, this inhib isn't gonna stop me. Oh my god, dude. I just, I just chunked that guy. I just fucked that dude up. My gadget's just hitting core. GG. That countess got destroyed, bro. I hit her with like four autos into Q and she was dead. Why no Caustica for the ability spam? Well, I don't think Caustica is really that worth it. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to look at what the damage difference would be. But my abilities aren't hitting that hard. It, like, it's all autos. 
So I, I don't know if that I don't know if Caustic is worth it. Maybe it is, but I'm not I'm not sold on it. I feel like Mega Cosm Mutilator is just as good as as having Caustica there. We love Pred. I know, Crashy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, I kind of slammed, bro. Top damage in the lobby. <sighs> I'm that guy.